downloading the Windows 8.1 ISO. Unfortunately, it's not quite as easy as we might want it to be. There are a couple of hoops we have to jump through. We'll start, you're going to need a Windows 8 product key and a non-Windows 8 machine. This will not work on Windows 8 itself. Once you have those, we're going to go to a specific URL out at windows.microsoft.com. I'll make sure to include the full URL in the notes, but you can see it here. Once we go there, you'll find that that is the Upgrade with a Product Key page. Down near the bottom, we'll click on Install Windows 8, even though Windows 8 is not what we want. We're going to download the little stub setup program, click on it or run it. And of course, allow it to run. This little program will take your product key, validate it, and then ask you which version of Windows 8 you want. I'm not sure why, since in my case, it actually offered exactly one version, Windows 8 Pro. Once it does so, click on Next, and the download will begin. Now again, we're downloading something that we don't really want. The reason we're doing this is that this download leaves things in a state that allows the next step of what we want to do, downloading Windows 8.1, to actually succeed. There are conflicting instructions as to whether or not you need to wait at this point to let some of the download complete. I prefer to wait until it's 1% complete so that I know something has in fact been downloaded. The download can obviously take a little while, and even 1% of a little while is a little while. We'll zoom in here as soon as the 1% is coming up. And what we want to do is click on the close box in the upper right to abort the download. Yes. This time, returning back to that page, we're going to click on Install Windows 8.1, the download we actually want. This, once again, will download a little stub downloading program. Once it's done downloading, run it, and of course, allow it to run. This program begins downloading the ISO or the files we want immediately. It's actually a lengthy process. I think this took my machine something like two or three hours. As the download completes, it'll then switch to checking the download to make sure everything downloaded correctly. Again, this will take a few minutes. And once it's done checking the download, it's going to take a couple of extra minutes to get the files ready, whatever that might mean. Once they are ready, you'll be given an option to install by creating media. That's what we want to do, create media. The media we want to create is an ISO file. That's a file you can then burn to a DVD later. Next, you'll be selecting where you want that file to be placed. In my case, I'm running out of room on my primary drive because the downloads we've had so far have been so large. So I'm electing to place it on a file share on another of my machines across my network. Once we click Save, the program begins creating the ISO file. Once it's done creating the ISO, it'll actually show that it's finished and it's going to display your product key again for reasons that, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure. But the key point is that once you've reached this point, you are in fact done. You can click finish. You have created 
a Windows 8.1 DVD ISO.